back inside now that was Reese the mailman. He's pretty cool. Um, the other package was an Amazon box from my aunt. But so yeah, my MWR839 is in. I have not unboxed yet because I'm let them know what this video will shoot the other folks a message let them know that I'm ready whenever they are. But anyways. Eton Zungard, the Red Cross Radio. Came out around 2012, 2013, I think. It has weather well, band with AM FM. It has a siren. I don't want to test it. But let's do a little thing there. Light and variable winds. Tonight, mostly Hour grace. Why would a bank do that? Just to help people. Top of that, you get 130% of Kelly Blue Book for your trade and entry. <laughs> In the back corner, we've got like four more radios to go, and then MWR839. Uh, this is my Midland 74-210. Sometimes known as the WR30. This radio came out in 1999, I think. Based around the same number as the 74-200. This one's odd. It's basically the recon before the recon. It has a similar sounding siren, similar looking antenna, similar features. Though it doesn't even have AM radio, which seems to be Weatherman and FM. On the way this hour, another 52 minutes of classic hits. We've got Foreigner, Tom Petty, and David Bowie on the way next. With classic hits, oh, the yeah. mix. Classic hits, mix 100.9 and 102.3 is proud to welcome Britt Floyd. The world's greatest Pink Floyd show to the Charleston Municipal Auditorium on Saturday, September 11th. Hear all of your favorite Pink Floyd songs in this exciting show. Tickets on sale now. Just go to Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. It's 155. Over to Steve at Tim Hortons. Amanda, the sleepy crowd here will be perking up at 2 p.m. when medium iced coffees are just... I don't know how to do the alert test or anything, but it basically just sounds like the recom. And now over here to the foot of the bed at this little table, kind of hijacked from my cousin. He had like a mason jar sitting on it. My Midland, uh, Radio Shack 12-247A with an RCA cable antenna because the original one, the mount was broken and this thing gets pretty bad reception. I don't even know if it'll go off. Um, it just has weather band. The siren is incredibly freaking loud. I'm not going to do this test for too long, but here you go. Um, right here is my Midland 74-200 from 1999. Kind of like the 12-250, but it actually has a clock and alarm. Long test for Friday with low humidity. There is no alert test on it. Radio Shack 12-261. I would have a 262, but they're horribly unreliable, so I got a 261 instead. This is a 2004 version, so it's actually the same year I was born. This jet weather band that gets fairly decent reception. <laughs> well, way to make me seem like an idiot radio. Um, and it does have a siren test. It's basically just the, the more reliable version of the 261, but it's a tad older. And we get the 2003 version, you even get the pretty statement white! I'll shut up now. And my Midland WR100, I think it's a version 5? Um, it's almost like a version 5, but it still works. Um, Saturday, patchy, dense fog in the morning. So it's got no AM, FM, the siren. Sounds like that. So neat. And I am going to do a, like, I'm going to reveal the box for the, for the Motorola. For the Motor Motorola. 
Motorola, Lola. Yeah, I've been kind of binging CS again. I don't want to try to reveal my aunt's address. But, just saying. I told Reese while the camera wasn't running, I was actually going to stop. I think that the weather radio collector and this thing was, he had to come with spin on that. I was like, too much. Oh my god. It's still in the plastic.